I filed a police report to have Councilman Mike Waller thrown in jail, but you guys have drug your feet. <sighs> He's been using our tax money to pay for trips to like Vegas, all sorts of wastes of money that the city's been paying for. And I went to the station, I reported to Wendy, who works there, she's nice enough to uh, file my complaint, but nothing has been done. The councilman has still not been in custody. Uh, you're, you're out of time, I Mr. just have Pepto. a couple more things to say. There's a travesty Pepto, of justice you're with out this of kind time. of stuff. You're and out of time. It's like, all right, I just want to make it clear that he should be in jail and he should not have been elected. Thank you. Hello? Hello, my name is Grayson Mays. I live on 4100 West Kennedy Street, and I'm here to tell you my story. It was last month on the 17th of June when my brother and I went fishing. Come on, little brother, hurry up. The fish aren't going to wait for you. Yes, they are. They love me. Right, I right. Can all day. I bet you can. Mm hmm. Well, you're just jealous because I've caught a bigger one than you. So what? One small fish, it's not going to harm me. You just need to accept the fact that I'm a better fisher than you. Little brothers and their conceptions of things. You're just jealous. All right, boys. The boys are trespassing. You're on private property. Since when is this private property? Sounds like bull trout to me. Listen, I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. You boys are trespassing on private property. Right, we've been coming here for years. Listen, if you don't vacate the area right now, you will be arrested for trespassing. How can you own a river, Billy? You can't. You can't own a river. All right, you boys are coming with me back to the station. Let's go. Our Nana got us out, luckily. My brother, since he was 18, wasn't so lucky. I had to go back to work in order to support you boys. I'm not a young woman anymore. Yes, yes Nana. Nana. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. We go there all the time and nobody told us this before. I thought that policeman was pretty patient with you. If it had been me, I would have kicked your foot. I'm 18 now. I'm the man of the house now. Yes. Now, boy to man. And the first thing you did was to act like a kid. Yeah, oh. Billy. Sorry, Nana. Hey, Nana, how can you own a river? Well, it's impossible to own a river. You can't own something that you can't control. You should ask your grandpa about that, bless his heart. Didn't he die in the 60s? You better go upstairs and wash. You smell like worm bait. Hey, Gray, I heard you got arrested. Where'd you hear that at? My sister's boyfriend arrested you. Okay. Are you grounded? Yeah, but my nana is taking her three hour afternoon nap. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Come on! <laughs> show called Oz. Isn't that for babies? No, it's a different kind of Oz. Like, they're jail. Hmm. Oh, crap, it's Kendra Roxy. Ah, grouty! Let's try to ignore her. Sure thing. Hey, Grayson. Hello, Jeff. Hey, Kendra Roxy. Roxy! So, I heard that you and your brother got arrested for trespassing on Mr. Wagner's land. Who the heck is Mr. Wagner? He's the guy putting Quakeville, Montana on their lap. So? So, dummy, he not only knows about a lot of large corporations, but I heard that he has the mayor in his pocket. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, just my Uncle Paul says that. Anyways, I heard they tasered you. Where'd you? Nothing happens. Mind your own business, Kendra Roxy. Yeah, Kendra Roxy. I also heard your brother lost his job. Where'd you hear that at? Just through the grapevine. Thanks for telling me. I would say I love these chats, but I really don't love them.
Not only did we get arrested, but my brother lost his job. Things have been getting tough for my family the last few years. All my brother and I had was our Nana. Did Nana send you? Nah, you always come here, whether you're sad or happy. Dad used to bring me here. You were little. Kendra Roxy is such a pain. Why? She has a big mouth. Yeah, sometimes you have to speak up. Other times you have to know when to shut up. Her uncle's a lot like her. Paul, I know, he goes to the city council more than the police do, and on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. They'll get a job. <sighs> a reputation is hard to get rid of in a small town like this. All right, let's go, Munchkin. Hello, boys. Come in and sit down before it gets cold. You'll know better next time. Anna? Yes, ma'am. How was your day today, Gray? It was good. That'll be the only one you'll have like that for a while. And don't think I, I'm not going to be watching because the wheel is on, and I'll be watching all day today. Bill lost his job. I know. I heard from Kendall Roxy, who said she told me she also saw you downtown. That blabbermouth. Just like her ma, doesn't know when to shut up. Don't get me started on Paul. What happened? All this because we fished at our usual spot on the river. That's not the point. We trespassed. And I find that we're going to have a hard time getting out of it. I think that's messed up. How can we get our fishing spot back? I doubt Mr. Wagner will be so kind to let us fish. He did call the cops on us. Really? Yeah, I also heard that we weren't the only ones that trespassed. What can we do? I'm too busy trying to find work to pay for this mess we're in. You could always appeal to the mayor. Really? Yes, they have council meeting every Monday at 7 p.m. I get to talk to the mayor? More like you get to talk at the mayor. I better get started. I hope he doesn't make things worse. I hope so, too. That's my story, minus the boring stuff. The point that I'm trying to make... You've run out of time, Mr. Mays. Now, just a minute. He worked awfully hard on this. You better listen up or there'll be hell to pay. Okay, go ahead. Finish your story. I thought Montana had an open river access for all. Times when my brother and father could enjoy a Saturday afternoon on the river. All I ask is you don't take away our rivers and you don't take away my father's memory. Thank you, Mr. Mays, for your speech. Are there any other public comments? Seeing as there is none, we'll move on to our next agenda, new item, street sweeper totaling $66,600. I thought Billy would be here. I'm sorry, Greg. He had an interview with Barry's roofers. Hold on a second. I'm Dr. Moon Griffin. Okay, fine. Hang on a second. I heard your speech, and I insist that you help me. Hi. Come on in and take a seat. You don't expect me to sit on the floor, do oh, you? I'm sorry, I'll get you a chair. I'm a little... Cray-cray? Sometimes you have to be crazy to get things done around here. Why didn't you want to talk last night? I was being careful. I have to trust that you guys are not going to repeat anything that we talk about. I don't think I'm going to agree to that. Well, then, I'll talk with her alone. You could just wait outside. All right. I just want to say, I love your speech. It made me cry. I think that if we get enough people in this town to back us up, we can prevent Charles Wagner from passing this ordinance. What? Mr. Wagner and Mayor Finer are, put in, are working on a proposal stating that if Mr. Wagner owns all the property around the river, then he alone should own the rights to the river. That's not fair. He just purchased the mineral rights to the area. I believe that this is just the next step. What about up the river or down it, past his property lines? Are, are rafters and people's in boats supposed to get out and walk back in? That's just the thinking that we need. How, what can I do to help? Well, the first thing we have to do is get the majority of the votes from Quakeville City Council. How are we going to do that? Good old-fashioned petitioning. That may not work. Why? Well, Mr. Wagner has put a lot of money into this city, and going against this city's new golden goose isn't a good idea. Yeah, you're pretty smart for a kid. 
Nana doesn't let me watch TV unless it's her stories and game shows. <laughs> the city is not completely ruled by the mayor. There is because there's a group of people called the city council and they get together where they pass laws and vote on amendments and ordinances. You're losing me. So citizens elect representatives from each part of the city or wards around town and they get together and they discuss laws and ordinances and vote on them. So you're saying that if we can talk to these city council members, we can sway them to our plan? Very smart, smarty pants. How are we going to get them? I have an idea. Or two. Or five. Hey, sir, do you want to sign my petition? No. Wait. No. Sorry. Hey, ma'am, would you like to sign my petition? No. River access for all. Don't let big business control Mother Nature. What are you talking about? I'm trying to prevent Mr. Wagner from owning the whole river. He doesn't own the river, just the area around it. So do you want to hear my spiel or not? School's not happening, so I can hear it. Okay, so the idea is, is that Mr. Wagner is buying up a lot of land in the area. And he's been trying to own the rights to the river, but there's no law saying that you can't even try to own the river. I think it's important that we keep our rivers, our rivers. I cannot do this alone, so by signing this petition, it means that you support free rivers. I think it's important that we keep our rivers, our rivers. I cannot do this alone, so by signing this piece of paper, it means that you support free rights. I'm not asking you just to sign it. I'm asking you to sign up for free rights to the river. Who is with me? Mr. Flyner, Mr. Rackford is here to see you. Fine, send him in. I heard that. I heard you say it was fine. Guess what? It's not fine. Sorry about this kid. <sighs> this kid. Well, I probably shouldn't have had him and his brother arrested, but I guess that's blood under the bridge, isn't it? Well, according to the council, things are split, so I think we should be fine. Split? What if it comes down to the wire? I don't like that, I don't like that. I think we need some kind of insurance with this kid. What's the alternative? Alternative? Yeah, 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 maybe we bring him in. You know, we have a little heart to heart. He's the one who's behind all this anyway. Oh, what should I say? This should be pointless in the end. <sighs> well, you like being mayor here, don't you, Jim? Is that a... Is that a threat? Oh, no, 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 no. Think of it as an opportunity. I mean, now you're mayor of a big little town. I could see you in bigger things. A state senator, a U.S. congressman. I see. I see, too. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do about Grace and Mays? <laughs> This meeting, we're all on the same page. Me too. <clears throat> I am Charles Wagner, and first of all, I'd like to apologize for having you arrested along with your brother. That was kind of a jerk thing to do. <laughs> you know, I'm from a small town myself, just east of the Mississippi, but I come out here to Montana and I just love it. Big sky, country, mountains, and nature. Casey? Well, I know there's some things that are sacred to you and the memory of your dear old dad. And that's why I'm proposing a trail right through my land, right down the Maya River. My river? Well, okay. well, for instance, I come to this little town just to, to kindle industry and enterprise. I'm going to put this town on the map, and I'm going to put that trail in. So not only will you and your brother have access to my river, tens of thousands of jokers will be down there every day just fishing their little brains out. Open all year round. I'm not 
stupid, Mr. Wagner. I see how this is going on. Your factories will bring in people jobs, so you start hiring out of Lakeville. Next, realtors start selling houses, so there's no place to go except for the rivers and the streams. I'm not worried about you, Mr. Wagner. I'm worried about what you're bringing in. Well, I guess you're smarter than your reputation. I won't talk down to you like you were some little kid. You'll just talk down to me like the mayor. Hey, hey. wait a minute. Let's, it's time we adjourn this meeting. For once, I think we're all right. Thank you for your consideration. Good luck, Mr. Hayes. It was a pleasure. Before I introduce our speaker today, I just want to say, we have a chance to define what is community. United in the hopes that we'll do what is right, not only for ourselves, but for our children and our children's children. I see that I'm running out of time. So before I go, I just want to tell you about this little boy. He stood before you last month alone, and now today he is us. I want to introduce you all to Grayson Mays. Hello, I've come to appeal to you in regards of... Excuse me, could you state your name and information for the record, please? Oh, oh, I'm Grayson Mays. I live on 4100 West Kennedy Street. As I was saying before, I'm speaking in regards to fair ac access to the river and, and that the ordinance you're about to pass forbids anyone from entering the river that my brother and I have been frequently using since I was three. I will ask you guys of the city, of the Council of Quakeville, to rethink this proposal to allow Charles Wagner and others to purchase river rights in, surround, in, in the surrounding properties. I think that it is a terrible mistake, and we are all here to express our dis, displeasure with the ordinance. Like I said to you before, my brother William a Mays and I were arrested for pr trespassing, and because I was underage, I got off with a warning, and my brother got fined. As a result, he lost his job and reputation. <clears throat> unable to get a job, my brother is unable to support my grandmother and I, as he was doing before. I'm not here to repeat the same story I've been telling you before. I'm here to convince you not to take away the river access from the people. Mr. Wagner has repeatedly called the, pe the police on people in town trying to use the river. This river goes through our town. If anyone should own it, it is you us. You have two minutes left. I know. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I believe we are at a crossroad now. We have the chance to define our community by saying no to private access to, the, to a public right. We have a beautiful river that runs through our city, and people have relied on it not only for fun, but for the clean water and work that it provides us. By selling off these rights, we can run the risk of depending individuals like Charles Wagner for the use of our river. I don't want to have my brother Nana, Dr. Moon, and other people in the city under the thumb of Mr. Wagner. I hope you as a council can- You have one. Thank you. As representatives of the city, of the people, ignore not only your individual rights, but the rights of as a community for your own agenda. Just what is it that you want? I just want to fish. I want to be able to go to the river anytime without being hassled by people like Mr. Wagner. Catch a bigger one than you. Oh, really? You can take down anything now, can't you? I took down the mayor, didn't I? Yeah, that is true. How's college? Eh, it's nothing too special. It's just an online college. It's going good, I guess. Don't remind me. You're here all the time. Mm hmm. Being with you is one of the best parts. On the riversides, there's been some sunglasses, water bottles, and all that stuff. I think we should start picking all that stuff up. That'd be a good idea. Some community cleaning. Maybe like a 
neighborhood watch? That would work. 